A right. touchdown for Longy! Five yard line, first down now, Trey Pierce. Sends a man in motion to the near side and the pitch back is to Tally. And Tally cuts it upfield, here goes Fred Tally. One man to beat, watch Fred Tally. He's gonna go all the way! 65 yards on the first play from scrimmage in the third period, Fred Tally. Yes, the All-State runner, Fred Tally is long gone. Set and toe into the end zone. It took about, about eight seconds to put him into the end zone. We've got a ball game tonight, a brand new ball game. Oh my, oh my, does lightning strike fast as Fred Talley got that football and ran like freak lightning into the end zone on the first play on the run back of the first kick in the second half. Look well, at you're going to see the uh, Lobos go for two here now and see if they can't tie the ball game up as they trail 14-12. Uh -oh. And here the Lobos come out now, sending Kevin Bishop to the far side. Pierce, the quarterback, here's the pitch back. Tally trying to find some room outside. Tally's going to go in. Hey. And Fred Tally with eight quick points here in the second half, and the Lobos have tied it up. We got a brand new one. Oh, man, I've been to a taffy pull in the sewing so so circle, and two county fairs that I've never in my life witnessed a football game like we have tonight. Just listen to the crowd. They're going wild in Lobo Stadium. Wow, this is a good one. Can you believe that, Sid? Hey, man, you know, <laughs> Robert Vero went into the into the locker room at halftime, and he talked to those Lobos. Let's watch Fred Talley. He gets the ball. He's jogging around the lack, looking for field position, sees a little streak. He's in the clear. One man to beat. Turns on the speed. The 40, the 30, the 20, down to the 10. Long gone. San Anton. Fred Talley. Touchdown. Woo. Get me all stirred up here, Sid. Lord. Well, we were mercy. just uh, talking a little bit about the big plays in the first half that got Marshall the lead, what with that kickoff return by Kendrick Starling and then the fumble that led to the second touchdown. Pump it up, and the Lobos had been kept pretty much in check. And now Pump it up, here baby. they get their big play on their own, the 65-yard run by Fred Talley. And with 11 minutes and 43 seconds left in the third period, yeah. we're all tied at 14. And the Lobo fans have definitely come to life here as Eric Hargrave Pump has it, it teed up and back deep. Kendrick Starling to receive for Marshall. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. Hargrave's kick is down the middle, and it's Kendrick Starling at the five-yard uh -oh. line. Here he goes. Hold on. Outside. He's going to go all the way, maybe. Watch him here. No, oh. he's pinned in finally. Whew. Oh, he had lots of room. Oh, man. Buzz, I can't for the life of me understand why the Lobos keep kicking it to him. Somebody give me a knee-high soda water and arch. Pop. I got to sit down. My heart's weak, Sid. Oh, my goodness. Wow. They don't write scripts like this in the movies. <laughs> I don't Mavericks, know why they kicked it to him. Mavericks at the 47 of the Lobos. Great field oh. position. I thought he was gone that time. And actually, his blocker came over to make a block and kind of got in his way oh. as Daniel gets the carry and picks up a yard. But the Lobos just kicking it straight away to him. Oh, man. And he's burned them one time, and he just burned them again. <laughs> man, oh man, what a football game. This is one like you could only see right here in East Texas. Two great teams, athletes, state quality athletes, great, great talent. Two teams fighting, tradition, a packed house of over 10,000 people. Second down and nine, here we go. Todd, hands off straight ahead, it's Kyle Daniel. Goes inside the 45 to the 43 yard line. Picked up about three. It's going to be third down and six now for the Mavericks as we're down to 10 minutes and 30 seconds to go. Tracy Brooks, 200 pound senior defensively for the Longview Lobos. He's the first to make contact. Play brought in from the far side of the field by Claude Gray. Fancher splits to the far side, Starling to the near side on third and six. For the Mavericks, it's out to Starling. He has it trying to get outside, and a great shoe top tackle that time by Bo White kept him from going all the way, but he does pick up good yardage down to the Lobo 30-yard line. There's Kendrick Starling, 190-pound senior. 
Oh, he's dynamite in a red package. Gets the football, and it went for Bo White's tackle by the shoestrings there. It would have been another six on the board. First down, Mavericks at the Lobo 30-yard line. Kyle Daniel, the lone setback behind quarterback Paul Todd, and Todd pitches back to Daniel. Daniel had to wait for it that time, oh. and the Lobos converged on him, and it was Mark Peters, the 240-pound junior that was in on the stop that time for the Lobos, helped out on the far side by Desmond Jackson. Well, the pitch was just a hair late, just had to has hesitate just a second, and that gave the Longview onslaught the opportunity to charge ever so much harder, and uh, great defensive work as we see the pass that, oh, was a thriller just a moment ago with Scarling. Big stop by Bo White on the shoestrings there. Second down, 11 for the Mavericks. Now out in the flat, it goes to Starling on the far side, and he's brought down, but not until he picks up good yardage. Howard Brown with a good sure tackle on the far side, and it's going to be third and about three for the Mavericks. Her Howard Brown simply grabbed Starling's feet, just bear hugged him, and took his feet out from under him. This is this is about the only way you can stop this guy is take his feet out from under because if he gets momentum a little far with progress, watch out. Third down and three as the Mavericks need to get just about to the Longview 20-yard line for a first down. And now Todd is going to drop back in the shotgun. Straight back to pass. Pass pressure coming, and Todd slips away oh, across my. the 20. Cuts it outside to the 15, the 10, and finally run out of bounds. And just like a magician, Paul Todd escaped pressure in the pocket and then took off and made some good cuts and picks up yardage down to the Lobo 11-yard line. I want you to watch Todd, Paul, uh, Paul Todd right now as he makes one tackle, misses two, turns to the outside. Look at him pick up those knees and grind and a little cut to the outside. Finally knocked out of bounds. This guy can run the football. As Marshall is marching uh, once again with 8.31 remaining in the third quarter of play in a tied game, 14 all in Lobo Stadium. It was Desmond Jackson who was drawing a beat on him in the backfield. Now Todd keeping, eludes one tackler. Here he goes outside at the 10, the 5, digging for the goal line, and is finally tripped up at about the 3. Another great run by Paul Todd and two Lobos. A little bit slow getting up, and one is still down on the ground at about the seven-yard line. I mean, watch this guy maneuver. He is so dangerous when he gets up a few yards of steam, a few footsteps ahead of you. you got to slow down and get out of his way or try your best to contain him, which has been awful, awful difficult to do. Got an injury on the field. Hope he's okay. There's 8-23, 14-all with Marshall Maverick. Of the Marshall. Thank our dear friends while we have a break. Uh, just a second at U.S. Riddles. They're the one that uh, support the football over East Texas on UPN 2248. They uh, help us with the scaffolding and any need in the way of riddle equipment. So we certainly encourage you to go by U.S. Riddles tomorrow and say thank you, or today, and say thank you for making uh, this game possible and supporting UPN 2248 and all high school activities football-wise across the, uh, the great East Texas area. Thanks again to U.S. Reynolds for their help. Uh, can you tell who the injury is, Sid? I think it's William Morrison, and that uh, is not good news for the Lobos, who is down on the far side of the field, and they're still checking him, but fortunately they're not looking at his legs or anything, so perhaps uh, he's just winded although they are checking him over pretty closely so uh, they're going to help William Morrison up now well he's setting up there looks like uh, looks like he's going to be all right here's an interesting fact while we got a little time here look at their uh, number 64 clapping in the Mavericks that's good sportsmanship that's good right sportsmanship there. we like to see it as Morrison he walks off of the the field on his own steam you know from 18 to 1989 to 1990 Marshall outscored Longview 99 to nine can you believe that and in 92 and 93 the Lobos outscored the Mavericks 54 to 22 we've got a rivalry these two teams have been going at each other for a long long time and they're slugging it out and it's we... not uh, William Morrison it's uh, Marcus Williams number 19 not number 18 who's being helped off the field he's the safety for the Lobos so it's going to be second down now and two for Longview Looks or like... for uh, Marshall excuse me as they move the ball at the Longview two-yard line following that run by Paul Todd as we get back to action. And the handoff to Daniel straight ahead. He is right at the goal line, and they say just short as Kyle Daniel 
Boy, he's got to be touching the stripe just about with that one.